the other mega trend is consumerization. The shift from kind of, you know, we're all passive patients just sort of doing whatever our doctor is saying and not really paying attention to our health to we're very proactive patients who are incentivized to take more responsibility for our own care and to use the everyday technologies around us, our own tablets, our own ultrabooks, our own smartphones to help manage our own health and wellness. That's a reality that's starting to arrive and is going to grow over the next decade. It has to. There aren't enough doctors and nurses to take care of you. You're going to have to take care of you. And your insurance company and your employer and everybody else involved in the value chain today is going to be saying to you, you've got to take some responsibility for your own actions. And I think we're already seeing baby boomers around the world you know, try to be a very different retiree as the first ones are starting to retire than the previous generations. And they know they're going to have to take a proactive role in their own health. They're going to have to be using the smart pedometers or the software that you can put on your smartphone to track your nutrition and your fitness. We see that. There's 65,000 apps alone uh, around smartphones for diabetes management. There's too many, right? At some point, we'll have a shakeout, and there'll be three or four that are the top apps, right? There's all this work around what's called mHealth, mobile health right now, and all the app development that for, for consumers to help manage their own health and wellness. Now, is, it, is that fundamentally changing the relationship with the doctor and patient yet? Not really, if we're honest with ourselves. Most of those apps are not downloaded more than once, and they're not used in a sustainable way because we haven't had a paradigm of doctor-patient interaction, and we haven't had the infrastructure to allow them to share that data with one another in a meaningful way. And bluntly, doctors and nurses have not been rewarded for using these technologies. With the health reform that passed in the United States, with the health reform that's passed in these other two dozen countries, the paradigm is shifting where it's like, we're not gonna pay for care based on the number of visits that you make to a clinic. They're gonna get paid for whether they made you better or not. And that means there's gonna be incentive financially and economically for people to be adopting coaching tools, online you know, nutrition and calorie trackers, um, there's going to be incentives for the doctors to read the information that you're sending to them about your um, pulse or your blood pressure that you're taking. That incentive change around the payment of health care is probably the most important reform that most people don't understand the repercussions of that are coming. And it's going to enable the market for these kinds of personal health technologies to finally take off.